Davo! <laughs> what can I say? I've seen a lot of people since Coventry that have said to me that they agree with what I said. I was nearly crying. Where was that come from? I don't know where it came from. But that was a long time ago now, Sam. You know what, though? The, the, the difference... We know these players didn't turn bad overnight. Yeah. And I almost want to say, do you know what, Wayne Rooney, thank you. Thank you for coming to Blues. For what? Thank you for trying your best. Okay. Because all we can ask is that players, management staff try their best. Wayne Rooney tried his best and it wasn't good enough. His best wasn't good enough. But thank you for doing your best. Because everything happens for a reason. Everything in life happens for a reason. These owners came in. If ever a club and a group of fans deserve these owners, it is Blues. Love ya. Love you more. It is Blues. We deserve this. We've been through in joys and sorrows every week, every day, every game, joys and sorrows. But oh my God, that road's a long one. And we know, we've trodden it. Decades, generations, we've trodden that long road. These owners came in and we we rode the crest of that wave. The feel-good factor was something like we have never felt at Blues. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason. They needed to make that decision. They needed to bring Wayne, Wayne Rooney in to know what it's like when it goes wrong. Because we can't ride that crest of the wave forever. Wayne Rooney came in, he gave his best, and I believe he gave his best, he did his best, but he wasn't good enough. So now, bring on Tony Mowbray. Tony Mowbray? Who the thought he? Do you know what, for me, there's not a football fan in the country where he's managed that has a bad word to say about him. They're all very, very, and you know, rivalries, football fans don't want other teams to do well. No. Every single person from every single part, yep. club that's made any comment on social media about Tony Mowbray has wished us well. And when I listen to what he said this week, he's been with us just over the week, when I listen to what he says, he couldn't sum up Birmingham City yeah. more than the words he's used this week. We know we're not the best team. We know we haven't got the best players. We're not in the top six teams in this division. All we expect is for everybody to try their best and work hard. And we're going home happy because every single player on that pitch, every single person on that bench, from Tony Mowbray to Ashley Cole, Chris the Kidman, Simon, the coach driver, we've all given 100% today and we've won. Yeah! Come on, Blues! Come on, Blues! Two and a half thousand Blues fans are going Come on, Blues! Home. Yeah! We're going home happy. Yeah! Two and a half thousand Blue Noses are going home today because we've had 100% on that pitch. That's all we ask. It's as easy as that. Just give us 100%, and we're happy. If your 100% isn't good enough, so be it. So be it. Make sure you give us 100%. And today, we're all going home happy. Three points today, it's more than that. It's, 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 it's massively more than three points today it's Tony Mowbray it's Birmingham City we're on the way we're on our we're way we're on our way aren't we? we're on our way we we're on our way it feels good today we haven't felt good since the 9th of October <laughs> today we feel good everybody's going home keep that feel good factor bring on Leicester FA Cup run Bring it on. We won't win it, but we'll have a good well, time you trying. You never know. We won't win it. We've never won it, but we're going to have a good time trying. Keep right on. Wait there. Sam's got something to say.
Cut him out, right? Number one. We're caught in the trap. trap. <laughs> I can't <laughs> walk out. I've got to leave.